Coming up on BBC London News, police investigate a spate of anti-Semitic attacks in North London. Holocaust survivors give their reaction to the rise in hate crimes. To see these anti-Semitic acts today is something so terrible that I, I really have no words to express it. We've learnt the Met is increasing patrols ahead of Holocaust Memorial Day. A very good evening to you. Welcome to the programme with me, Riz Latif. This won't be tolerated, the words of the Mayor of London about the rise in anti-Semitic crime here in the capital. He was speaking at a special ceremony ahead of Holocaust Memorial Day later this week. It comes after a string of hate crimes in North London over the weekend. Sadiq Khan has told BBC London police are stepping up patrols in the area. More now from our Home Affairs correspondent, Nick Beek. <laughs> Although seven decades may have passed since the horror of the Holocaust, for some the memories are still vivid, for many the pain still raw. At City Hall they remembered the victims. But the mayor is among those worried that today in 2017, in this city, people are being targeted just because they're Jewish. This brick with a swastika emblem was hurled through the window of a family in northwest London this weekend one of four anti-Semitic attacks. We want a zero tolerance towards uh, hate crime. The police are looking at CCTV footage as we uh, speak. They're speaking to Jewish communities to uh, reassure them. We're taking this very, very seriously and we want to get to the bottom of this. On Friday afternoon, the police discovered anti-Semitic graffiti in one part of Edgware. Hours later, a woman was egged in a street nearby. Saturday, the brick was thrown and down the road a few hours later, a swastika was drawn on a window. One group which tries to tackle Jewish hate crime thinks abuse online is going unpunished and leading to more persecution on the streets. Today, social media is the cauldron in which the current wave of anti-Semitic hatred is being brewed. Um, social media has been wonderful in many respects, but it has also given voice to many people her who want to promote all manner of anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. The Metropolitan Police say they haven't seen the evidence yet to prove these latest incidents are linked, but say it's of huge concern that the Jewish community has been targeted in this way. But anti-Semitic as well as Islamophobic incidents are on the increase, as well as hate crimes generally. Back at City Hall, 86-year-old Marla Tribich lit a memorial candle. As someone who escaped the Nazis in the 1940s, she's deeply saddened by this weekend's events. It, it's like a stab in my heart um, because I have seen a lot of anti-Semitism and I've seen the result of it. We've witnessed, people have witnessed the Holocaust. Also this weekend, an advert on the tube for a film about Holocaust denial was defaced. So far, no one's been arrested over any of these incidents. Nick Beek, BBC London News.